I'm going to show you how to use the Solace Node.js demo. And uh, I've already been to the Solace Developer website and downloaded um, the Solace API demo.zip file. Also went to node. Uh, so, excuse me, nodejs.org, downloaded and installed the latest uh, build of node.js, which is uh, 0810 for me. And let's verify that I have it installed. In my directory, I have the zip file. I can unzip that file. And what you'll notice is a subdirectory with uh, um, a README file in it and two different subdirectories, Node.js and Solace.js. All the Solace.js stuff is for web browsers. Handled uh, That whole demo is handled separately from this. And the um, what we're going to look at is the Node.js examples. Uh, which are documented here in a readme. Take a look at the readme for how to install. It's quite simple. Uh, use the built-in NPM tools to, um, to install the Solace node modules. Do it properly. npm install and then node salt client js version number dot tar dot gz. Give it a second to install. Okay, should be installed, and you'll notice it makes the node modules uh, subdirectory. And in there, um, Sol Client JS, which is the name of the module that we'll be using. Uh, there's documentation, uh, further examples for publish and subscribe and so on, all in, all in there. So it's a proper NPM module. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is um, a sample program that ships with the demo so you can connect to uh, a, a remote router on the internet. So really simply, take you through the code here. Uh, we require um, Sol Client JS, which is our node module. In this case here, we're going to publish a number of messages, set some session properties, and um, one of which is to reapply subscriptions. So if we get disconnected, it'll reconnect and resubscribe. And uh, there's some other session properties here, like username and password, and VPN name, which is a way that we saw as partitions up a single appliance into multiple uh, domains. Uh, there's a URL here as well to connect to, uh, which is um, Solace Router on the public internet. We're going to publish 10 messages in this example. Sorry, subscribe to 10 messages in this example, and uh, and exit, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so it's fairly simple here. Uh, set up the properties, and um, warn if you get an, uh, an error. Um, when we set up our properties. Uh, we are also going to um, subscribe and create a topic and the topic that we're going to subscribe to is hello slash string slash greater than. Greater than is a wildcard that will match any number of levels of, uh, of topic name uh, after that and the slash is the delimiter. Um, similar to like a dot in, in some other uh, pub sub messaging systems. Okay, so just like a like a file system. 
Um, the session is uh, created here. Uh, we pass it the session properties that we set up and uh, we register a message callback function, which is defined right in here in line. So every time that there's a message that comes in, it'll log it to the console uh, uh, and uh, use a dump method to um, dump the contents of the solace message. Okay. Uh, increment the counter. And then if we've hit the number of messages, which is 10, it will uh, quit out. The sep second callback here is uh, for session events. So there's one callback for receiving messages, another callback for receiving uh, information about your session. So for example, let's say your session got disconnected or um, there was some other error that came back that isn't a message but is related to um, your current session that you connect in. So that's pretty much it. Let's uh, run this node hello node sub.js. It's going to connect in, start receiving messages and dumping them out up to 10 messages. These are the same message streams that you can get through the um, web-based demo with JavaScript, the uh, same JavaScript API running in a, in a browser. So thank you. And um, please email us at uh, demo support uh, at solacesystems.com if you have any other questions.